Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to spot a counterfeit smartphone. Now these types of scams are happening more and more these days especially when Apple puts out a new iPhone or Samsung puts out a new Galaxy. But you see a lot of people getting scammed on Craigslist to buy a cheap knockoff which they thought was an awesome $800 new smartphone. If you want to avoid this happening to you, the best thing to do, and I mean absolute best thing to do beforehand, is to research every aspect of the phone. In particular, learn about the materials used in the phone and know which parts are supposed to be metal, which parts are supposed to be glass, and which parts, if any, are supposed to be plastic. And another great way to learn about the actual device is to watch an unboxing video on YouTube so you can learn what actually comes in the packaging. And at some point while you're doing your research, make sure to write down the phone's exact model number and the software version that it comes with. That way, when you're about to make the purchase and you have the phone in hand, you can do a quick check to see if all that stuff adds up. If you're about to buy an iPhone and you want to know if the software version it comes with is actually legit, the best way to go about it is to head to Settings, then General, and About. On Android, it's pretty similar. Just head to Settings here, then go to About Device. From here on either OS, you'll see the phone's model number and of course the software version that is currently running. A lot of cheap knockoffs won't bother updating the phone to the latest version, so this number here will actually tell you a lot about whether it's fake or real. Then while you're in this same menu, poke around until you find the phone's IMEI number. This is essentially a universal serial number for mobile devices, and if it's a counterfeit device, you can almost guarantee that this IMEI won't be legit. So if you want to check the legitimacy of the phone's IMEI, T-Mobile has an awesome website where you can do just that. I have this page linked out at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, so head over there to get it bookmarked before you buy. But this can actually help you defend against two smartphone scams. One is obviously if the smartphone is counterfeit, the IMEI is probably not going to be valid. But the second thing is, if the phone you're trying to buy has been reported stolen, running an IMEI check will actually show you that. Then the last tip I have for you is to boot the device into download mode, recovery mode, or fast boot before you buy it. The process of doing that varies between devices, but I've got it outlined for most common smartphones over at the full tutorial. But basically, if the phone is counterfeit, 99% of the time when you boot into download mode, recovery mode, or fast boot, the writing will be in Chinese. So check these menus to make sure they're in English. But for the full breakdown, including tips for sellers, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.